Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Asian range liquidity and how it works with smart money concepts. So pay close attention and make sure you watch till the end of the video because this will be the most important concept you need to know if you want to trade in line with the big banks, the big institutions or market makers. So in order for us to know how the Asian range works we need to understand the overall cycle of the market so the market consists of three general cycles that is the accumulation phase the stop on phase and the reversal phase this is what happens in it in a 24 hour cycle that's in a day so how basically how this works is is we have the start of a day here right? so this is Going to signify the beginning of a day this be, this is the beginning of the day so what the market makers or the institutional traders usually do is they set the initial high and the initial low of the day we're going to have the initial high which is h and the initial low which is l of the day this is the current initial high and the initial low of the day so what they do now is they begin to range and move sideways forming this consolidation forming this accumulation stage here the purpose of this is they are creating contracts the market makers are creating contracts they're getting people they're inducing traders to take a position the traders that take that trade support and resistance they are indu inducing them to take trades in inside this accumulation box they're going to have traders taking you're gonna have people taking trades here on sell taking a sell here people taking buys here and people taking buys here so if they they extend this accumulation for about eight hours right getting into london session so this is your asian session it lasts for eight hours the result of the accumulation of contracts results in liquidity equal lows equal highs right equal lows equal highs so basically the people that bought and sold inside this range basically have their stop loss have their stop losses above and below the range oh no <clears throat> good what they usually do is they analyze their books so let's say we have out of the whole population of traders let's say we have uh 70 percent of people taking sales and the remaining 30 percent taking buys so they analyze their books they look and see okay 70 percent of traders are, are taking this short and 30 percent are taking this long so basically what they do now is the stop hunt so for example they want to go down for the day all right and there are 70 percent of people taking sales right they have to take out the 70 percent because 70 percent of if the majority of people are taking sales then they have to take it long right so what they do is they clear out the sellers with the stop hunts to the upside extending the initial high of the day so now this becomes the new high of the day hod high of the day this becomes a new high of the day taking out this the traders that are they put their stop loss here and then they've cleared out cleared out this 70 percent so now let's say we have now 80 percent of people buying and then 20 percent of people sells could it even be 90 because this move right here this large move gets people excited gets people who took sales here to then take the break out of this uh resistance and the people that bought here are even adding more trades on the breakouts that one confirms their buys right so this moves this move does two things one it hits the stop losses and also induces people to take buys and remember the original direction they want to go for the day is downwards 
So they so they induce people to, to take buys. And then what they do is they will pull back aggressively. They'll pull back aggressively, retesting this zone for the break and retest traders to get in. And then they go back to that high. So when they go back to that high, they fail to break the high. They refuse to break the high and then they respect that high and then they come back down and then they could consolidate a little bit on the resistance or support. Getting more traders to take in to, to take to enter this on a buy. Because you know this was originally resistance and then they broke it and they retested it. So this is a support. Right, so there are traders expecting this to go to continue up like this. You know how you know that saying of lower, higher, higher lows, higher highs. So this is a higher low right here. So they are expecting a higher high, and then what they do is after accumulating here, waiting for traders to get in on this buy, then they shift the zone back down. Like this, trapping a bunch of traders in this whole, in this entire range right here, inside this, this range, and then after they've moved down like this to end the day, they do the same thing, and then end the day back at the middle of the range. So this is the entire cycle, 24-hour cycle. This is the accumulation. This is the stop hunt, and then this is the reversal. Accumulation, stop hunt, reversal. So the purpose of ending the day at the middle of the range is in order for, for to trap more traders. Remember, this was trapping longs, so this will be trapping shorts. So we have people trapped long, people trapped shorts, and then end of the day. And then the next day, they analyze their books and see if and see the percentage of buys and sells in the market and then do the exact same thing. That is the 24 hour cycle. So here's an example of, of the 24 hour cycle on a chart. Here we can see the accumulation phase, the stop hunts breaking out of that consolidation. They break out with an aggressive fat candle. Then they pull back retesting the 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 zone. Then they go back, they head back towards that high, that high of the day. Head back towards the high, fail to break the high, throw some candlesticks like the hammer. You can see this hammer here. You can see this hammer. Throwing wicks at that high, trapping more traders. And then they shift. This is the reversal. Remember, I told you they would begin to consolidate at that area. And then they shift out. Then they do the same thing. The opposite direction and then they end the day at the same place where they started the day so you can see they started the day here and then they ended the day here this is at the 50 at the middle of the range here's another example we have the accumulation stop hunts extended stop hunts m formation then they consolidate they retest they broke out they retested the zone went higher and then they reversed and did the same thing at the end of the day in consolidation. Here's another example. This, in fact, this just happened uh, before the market closed on Friday. This is the accumulation. We have the stop hunts. A mild stop hunts, not very aggressive, but it's still a stop hunt hitting the stops of the, the short sellers. From that M formation, as we can see, they retested the high here. This is the high of the day. They retested the high and they reversed. This should be news. Yeah, this would have been news. Then they did the exact same thing here from the W formation and then went back up and ended the day. So here's another example. We have the accumulation phase. Extended stop hunts three times. Extended the stop hunts and then they reversed. They didn't really come back to retest here, but you can see this is a uh, supports which they retested here like this and then they reversed the hits in the stops down here reversed again and then ended the day in 
consolidation. So this is basically how the 24 hour cycle works. This is how the liquidity is acquired. This is how they acquire the liquidity to make the moves that they make in the market, right? So subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos because I'm going to be releasing new videos on how to trade with the big banks and with the institutional traders. So I'll see you guys in the next one.